Hello, my name is Daniel Sikora, and I am a sound designer and composer based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And in this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to take a Unity level and integrate that into FMOD once again. But this time, we're going to be going more in depth about some of the features FMOD can bring to the table for this project. Now, this project was once again a collaboration by myself and the team over at FMOD, so again, special thanks to Raymond and Matt. So this is the completed project, and just before I play the scene, I'm going to go over a couple of things to listen for. And just a quick note, if you haven't heard of this survival shooter level from Unity, it's a third-person endless shooter project, and there's also an accompanying tutorial that you can do. So for the music system, I composed the music with a certain set of parameters in mind that would transition between different sections of the music. So depending on whether the player is below 50% health, or whether the game has started, whether the player has died, so listen for those transitions. Also listen for the sounds that the enemies make. The enemies are the elephant, the zombear, and the zombunny. So are those enemies constantly and repeatedly playing the same sound whenever you hit them with every bullet, or is there a specific cooldown to that sound? Listen and be the judge. And additionally, when the player drops below 40% health, in FMOD, there's going to be a snapshot that transitions, and what that's going to do is you're going to hear, first of all, you're going to hear a heartbeat sound, and that's going to fade up over time as the health gets lower, and you're also going to hear an EQ effect on most of the sound effects, so listen for that. And finally, listen for the gunshot sounds. Do they all sound the same? Are there variations in pitch? Are there variations in the EQ characteristics of them? You be the judge. So now just listen with all of those points in mind, and let's get to it. So the first step is to create a new empty project in Unity. So make sure it's a 3D project, give it a name. So now in your internet browser, just head over to the Unity Asset Store, and in the search type in Survival Shooter, and select this one with a stuffed teddy bear by Unity Technologies and then open in Unity, open link, and import. It says import because I've already downloaded it, but if it says download, just press that. And once you can import it, just click all and then import. And once that's finished importing, just a really important thing to note, this project has two sets of assets, the completed assets, and then the folders for the assets for this tutorial. So this is actually a tutorial on unity.com, and it, it takes you through all the steps from scripting to audio to working with animation. So just be aware of that. So right now, I'm just going to go over here to the completed assets, go into the scenes, go to complete game. That's going to load the scene. I'm going to close the asset store tab. So this is the scene, navigate if you want, take a look around, and just make sure you save the scene as something appropriate. So. so now that the scene is saved, go over to fmod.org and go over to the downloads page. If you don't have fmod studio, grab that over here for whatever platform you're on. And next you have to scroll down and grab the fmod studio unity integration package, which is over here. And you can see you do have to log in or register. So if you don't have an account, just make one. It's free and log in. And once you're logged in, scroll down 
to the integration package and download it if you have the correct version of FMOD Studio installed. If you have a different version, an earlier version, which I do, just click over here to see the previous Studio integration packages and just select the one that fits your version best. And then once you have the correct integration package downloaded, go over to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and navigate to where you have your downloaded integration package saved. So I have mine over here, open. And just select all import. And then as explained in the previous video series on Viking Village, once the FMOD integration package is imported, it adds a bunch of assets related to FMOD into your Unity project. So the next step is to go to FMOD and go to edit settings. We have a warning that says FMOD Studio project path not set. All we have to do is link up our existing FMOD Studio session to this Unity project through this. So to do this very quickly, open up FMOD Studio and just save this blank project. And now back in Unity, find the project path of the FMOD Studio project you just saved and then just build the project, and that's it. So once again, I just want to point out that since this level is from the official Unity tutorial series, there are some copies of folders. So for example, you have scripts over here, and in the completed assets folder, you also have scripts. So when possible, you want to try and use the assets within this completed assets hierarchy folder. So this is just something to keep in mind, and probably the only folder that you're going to use that's not in the completed assets is this models folder, which contains the character models and animations for the player model and the enemies that you're going to need. And one thing that you're going to have to do right off the bat is to take away the audio components that are already in this original project. An easy way to find where all these sounds would be is to first go to this audio folder, and this contains all the pre-made sound effects for this level. So here you have the elephant, you have the player, the zombear, and the zombunny. And now that you have an idea of what the sound effects are, you just have to look for the relevant objects and turn those audio sources off. So as you can see here, there's a background music. We won't be using this audio source. So you can either turn it off or delete it completely. It might be better to turn it off just so you have a reference of where you're going to be sending your FMOD events to for now, though. So the music is the easiest audio source to find. For all these other sound effect audio sources, just go to prefabs and you'll find the elephant, player, zombunny, and zombear. And if you click on each of them, you'll notice that there's an audio source on each of them. You'll have to disable or delete this once again. And sound effects also get called in the scripts, so you will have to edit these scripts. So let's go to enemy health. And once you're inside each of the scripts, just look for any audio related references and you want to delete them. So over here, there's an audio clip. There is an audio source over here. There's another audio source reference over here. And over here where it says play hurts sound effect, you can delete this and just leave a comment saying you want to have an FMOD event being called here. So you remember when it comes time to add the necessary code. And now you just want to go through the rest of this enemy health script and look for any more audio references and delete them. So over here on the death method, we have one for the death audio clip. So keep the comment in here and just write FMOD event. And that's it for this script. So now I'm just going to assume that you have a basic knowledge of scripting, and I'm just going to tell you that the only other scripts that you have to worry about are the player health and the player shooting script. So the, both of those have some audio related calls in here. So just go through this, try to make sure you understand what they mean and what they originally were meant to do, and make sure you delete them and then add in some comments to set the groundwork for your FMOD events. One of the things you might want to do is to take these original audio assets that come with the Unity completed level, so this audio folder over here, you have the music and you have the sound effects. So just open this in Explorer or Finder if you're on Mac. And now that you have this, you can actually drag this over into your FMOD project. So open your audio bin. And now you can use these original assets as test assets for the new events that you make for the Unity level. This idea of using temp or temporary assets can be helpful because right away when you open this Unity project, there's going to be quite a few things to think about. So if you don't have to worry about creating the audio assets, if they're already made in some basic form, all you have to worry about is creating the events and making sure that they're working correctly with the proper object in Unity. Later on, you can update those events to be more complex, have more audio layers, and so on. 
So you have been given quite a few things to keep in mind when creating this project in this video. So I just want to quickly summarize those things. So getting this Unity level from the asset store, downloading it, importing it, and setting up the F1 integration should be no problem for you at this point. If it is, I do recommend that you check out the previous video series I did with FMOD, and that was on the Viking Village Unity level with FMOD integration. And in it, there are some more beginner-friendly tutorials. This is more of an intermediate series. So next, you want to make sure that you are aware of how the assets work in this level. So you have the regular assets folders, and then you have this completed assets directory. So make sure you check both of these locations if you're trying to find something and you don't know where it is. So after you're familiar with that, make sure you go through this project and strip away all the audio sources and audio references within scripts. So whether that means going into the background music game object, turning off or deleting the audio source, going into the prefabs, doing the same, or going into the scripts and taking away the audio source references. And if you like, you can use the ready-made audio assets that have been provided with this level as temp assets within FMOD. So thanks for watching this video. Now join me in the next videos where I'll be talking about the sound effects, the music system, and scripting related to FMOD. Thanks for watching.